So a chemical peel is a topical treatment that we apply to patient's skin, and what that does is it exfoliates the outer layer of the skin to improve skin texture or tone or pigment, but then it also allows new, healthy, fresh skin to rejuvenate and replace that skin that we've removed. I decided to be the patient because uh, I think it's a great opportunity uh, to show our patients uh, that this is something not frightening to be done. So we can use chemical peels for a number of different things. Most patients come to us seeking aesthetic improvements in their skin, and so chemical peels can be used for these patients to improve melasma or pigment problems. They can improve fine wrinkles, um, sometimes even moderate wrinkles if we use a deeper peel. They can also improve skin texture and tone. They may shrink some pore size. For patients who struggle with acne, it can improve the acne component of their skin as well as helping soften some of the old acne scars and damage. Other patients may come to us because they have precancerous lesions of the skin or a tendency for skin cancer, and we can actually use different types of chemical peels to resurface the skin and remove some of that sun damage component. The areas of concern that I was looking at are some of the red areas on the uh, right cheek along with the pigmented areas, and then there are some what we call seborrheic keratoses or kind of uh, sunspots um, on my forehead and in other locations that I want to see if we can address. At UC Irvine Health, patients are gonna come in contact with professionals who've been trained over a number of years who've gotten very specific and specialized uh, instruction in how to use chemical peels, how to evaluate patients for the appropriate peel, and how to manage them if complications should arise. So once we have the patients in the procedure room, we're going to put them on one of our procedure tables so they'll be kind of in a seated position or a laying back position, whatever's comfortable for the patient. We're going to have prepped the skin, which means it's going to be cleaned really well so there's no makeup residue. And once the skin is dry and ready, we'll start with the application of the peel. And the first step in the peel is a mix of a couple different acids. It only takes a few minutes to apply this part of the peel. We'll apply it in sequence over the face to make sure that all areas have been treated evenly, um, focusing on areas of problems for some patients, and making sure that we've really feathered the peel around the eyelids, around the lips, around the neck, so that there aren't any harsh transition lines and they get a nice result. This can sting a little bit for some patients, and so we often provide them with a very high-powered cold air fan, which is very comforting and soothing to the skin while we go through this step. After the acid layer has been applied, we will apply the retinol component, and this is going to really penetrate through this nice exfoliated skin, get deep into the layers of the dermis to allow for collagen stimulation and skin rejuvenation. Following that, we'll apply the calming cream, and this is the anti-inflammatory component with a lot of nice botanical extracts that help with DNA damage prevention and healing. And this is very soothing, and by this point in the peel, the patient should be feeling no discomfort at all. It actually wasn't bad, uh, but it, it is very warm when you, when you put it on. 